Hey there Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Um, Virgos, what we're gonna do today for Thursday, I'm sorry, Wednesday, March 29th, is we're gonna segue a little bit away from love and try to look at the everyday messages to see what's coming in. Maybe your career, your health, um, on a very surface level, of course, spiritual messages, things like that. If love shows up, yeah, I'll absolutely let you know. So this will be a very general reading. And as always, keep in mind, some messages may or may not resonate. Also, this is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, you guys, so uh, the link to a personal reading with Casey is below this video, so definitely check that out. And thanks to everyone for booking with him. I greatly appreciate that thus far. Okay, Virgo, so starting off with April, you have the Knight of Wands, so you're going after something here, Virgo. Um, you're, le you're a trailblazer in April. <laughs> in something in your life your passions are set on fire I don't know what you're doing um, but you're in movement for sure so you could be relocating uh, maybe you're taking a trip uh, maybe you're outside walking or running starting a new exercise program but you're on fire in April Virgo so I feel like that's really good for you because I feel like you're getting your blood pumping and you know you're going after you're lusting after something that's for sure maybe it's a person but it's just for me it feels like either an idea or um, a thing okay you're like I don't see you sitting still you're being very free spirited in April and also very creative so you may feel this energy coming up for you um, in April, there's also a possibility of some kind of, um, could be an argument or a divorce or some type of, maybe you're having surgery and you're like ready to go. You're not going to stop. You, you know, you need to do this. Okay. So as far as health, you uh, might be working um, to increase your heart health in April. And for others, there's definitely... Um, coming out of some kind of a heartbreak situation or getting away from an argument and chasing after the things you want to do for yourself as well. And um, yeah, I kind of feel like um, some of you are coming out of depression as well. And you get your fire back is what I'm hearing. The Three of Swords can be a card of depression and it looks like you get your fire back. Um, Maybe you're taking medication or you're just using exercise as a depression, antidepressant. You're doing something and it looks very positive for you. Okay. So you've also got the page of wands. So there's going to be some type of message that's really going to rile you up coming in April. Okay. Um, now the page, this could be something to do. You might be doing something active with a child, um, be very active with a child in April or you could um, be getting, a, I just feel like enthusiastic. Um, I'm just hearing feet don't fail me now. You are not letting anything keep you back or hold you back. You just have this fire about you. You have these ideas. There's enthusiasm. Okay, some of you might be ending something with someone. You could be breaking up with someone. Um, because you're chasing your goals and I, I mean I, I I whoever that's for that's who it's for but there is an energy especially with the page of wands where it's like you might have some new project cr or creative ideas and things that you are just they're lighting you they're lighting your fire okay the, and I just see a lot of movement towards chasing after your dreams your desires Okay, in April, very strong message and a good time. I mean, spring is, look at all the wand energy. Virgo, it's like you cannot be stopped. <laughs> There's so much growth. You know, spring is always a time as well of like new growth. Look at all the new growth here on that wand. Um, some of you are like done with a relationship and you are on fire 
to get back out there and start meeting other people um, or communicating with others and, you know, getting your growth on, if you know what I mean. Virgo, I'm a 10-year-old. I know, you don't have to tell me. So, you know, as far as just like your life in general, uh, you, you have a new beginning happening definitely in April, okay? Um, like these urges and you get inspired, okay so i don't know if somebody ended something with you virgo's like in april okay well i'm back up on the horse so let me get going so i i, I feel like april's a really good time to um express yourself and get yourself out there i'm channeling madonna even though she's still alive all right of all cards to fall again Virgo, I feel like this is a little bit of a remnant from yesterday. Like you are just, mm, you're, I'm, a, I'm even attracted to you, Virgo. Look how good you look, how well you're going to be doing going forward in April. You got my mind on my money and my money in my mind. You got money in the bank, you know, um, maybe some of you are getting some cute little money piece blonde highlights in your hair um, or doing something with your hair i feel like a lot of this has to do with aesthetic um you know and just kind of like singles a pringle and enjoying your single life you know and it's like who the heck are you <laughs> virgo yum <laughs> you're just looking amazing here um Hopefully you're going to take off that house coat you've been wearing around the house and get yourself like in that bikini in the summer. Um, or if you're a guy, you get up off that couch and quit that gaming and, uh, you know, get yourself moving, depending on your age, of course, um, or just like get up off that, get up off the dance floor. Who's that, Nelly? I was just shaking your tail feather. <laughs> I was at the gym earlier today and I was shaking my tail feather in the gym and I'm just like I think I don't even care like I'm just dancing away I can't I can't help myself and a good song comes on and that's a great song so Virgo you're just pretty much like oh no that's hot in here and it was hot in there oh my goodness I was sweating um it's getting hot in here Anyway, Virgo, you're looking hot, you're looking fine, you got your mind on your money, you're banking, you're bankrolling everything, you're communicating with other people. Um, oh gosh, now they just, they're like, I have a little angel jukebox in my head. Um, oh, Gloria, Gloria Gaynor. Oh, what is that song by Gloria Gaynor? Um, I don't know, I'm just hearing all this like positive motivation type songs like a Britney, strong again, uh, stronger, you're, you're doing, I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing you, I, I know that, and the results are going to start showing in April for sure, even just a little bit that you do, a little or a lot, you're on, like, you're just like, screw this, I'm, you're just moving, that's all, and you're moving towards self, you know, um, making yourself better physically emotionally um and if you're right now as you're listening to this and that's not happening that's okay the spark is going to come that's what the page of wands is that's a spark and the ace of wands as well the spark of an idea but there's the ace the spark comes first it's almost like a gift and it just comes out of nowhere and you just i don't know i just feel like maybe the weather is changing where you are for the better or you're getting excited about um a seasonal change or you're you just have some stuff going on in april and I, it just comes out of the blue, really, Virgo. I just feel like you... It's like an epiphany of some sort you get within yourself. Okay. So you've got the Hierophant here. Um, so... Some of you might be getting out of a place that you work and going off on your own and becoming... Um, a CEO or an entrepreneur doing your own thing with your own company as well. I, I feel that real strongly. Some of you um, are, the Hierophant isn't generally um, a card of rebelliousness. It's just that I feel with this Nine of Pentacles, there's this confidence coming here also in April where you kind of feel like, you know, you just want to branch out in some way. Um, 
and and for others there is a place that you work that is um they're they're eyeing you up for a position they're, you're being singled out for a promotion or some kind of a position going forward that you know with the nine of pentacles that's always a card of luxury so this is kind of like you'll be able to be for some of you self-sufficient or be able to buy some luxuries for yourself uh even or even more and um basically like financial gains for sure coming from some kind of institution or corporation of some sort okay now let me see so you've got the tower wow virgo looks like you have burned some bridges and you're not returning you're starting over you are some of you threw the baby out with the bathwater. you're just like nope everybody out of my house get out of my house <laughs> kicking everybody out the window you have a, a lightning bolt moment everybody out i'm doing my thing here so <laughs> this kind of feels like um uh, they're giving me the word like a universal aha moment like okay uh, i don't know what that means maybe you live with roommates or you are or you have people who are renting from you and you're getting rid of them um bad eggs i'm hearing maybe you're just throwing out some bad eggs but i feel like there's this huge um upheaval happening in your life in april for sure um now the tower isn't always bad um sometimes it can be very uncomfortable you know um sometimes it could be like something happens that could affect you but it could be indirectly as well um but it's all for the good it's it because it causes regrowth and a new beginning so whatever's going on in your life here um if whether that's like a separation from a relationship or um whatever you're separating from in your life mentally physically emotionally spiritually you are running for the hills to uh, put yourself back into a really good spot um and to be more taking your power back and be being more in control of your life okay in april so you're going to come to that that or it's going to come to you like if you're not feeling it right now some of you i know you are <clears throat> but i feel like you know your wheels you know you're burning rubber in april for sure it's just coming out and it's like time to go uh some of you have been sitting on the thought process of it for a while and april's like nope it's time to go no 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 no. i gotta get going you turn the key the wheel starts moving okay now some of you will be getting an apology from someone as well okay um and um there is someone uh you will receive so i will say this there will be like an apology or some sweet messages coming forward towards you sweet affectionate nice uh, maybe a, a letter in the mail something very sweet um or a very nice text from someone uh it could be from a pisces but a very nice um like a message that you will receive uh hold on a minute i just wanted to yeah um so it's kind of like it's either an apology for something or it is um somebody just misses you and says hello okay it doesn't have to be a lover it could be a friend um or a family member um it's very mild it's nothing heavy duty right because with the page the water in the background is very mild very easy going um it could be the, the energy of this person um you could receive also a very sweet affectionate type of gift from a child okay as well but the pages always represent news and there is a possibility that you could be communicating with someone um a new person um where there's like a new love start kind of starts happening here um there's also um for some of you might be getting an offer an invite or inquiring about doing some volunteer work to help um out in ravaged areas areas that are ravaged by weather 
um, if you belong to some type of a community, whether it's religious or just a social group of some sort, you may be putting in your effort or donating or helping with charity also. Um, so I feel like if that's something you've been thinking about doing, I know the weather has been really crazy in the south of the United States um, from like, I guess all of the Midwest and, and the in that whole area south and all um so some of you might be wanting to get involved maybe something happened in your area as well and you're receiving help to help you get back up on track um or could possibly be happening um the tower can represent sometimes a weather event also so i would definitely say to keep your eyes and ears peeled to the weather if you're in that portion of the United States going forward in April. Um, because there are events that are, it, it's, I'm not predicting that, this is all on the weather. <laughs> there are events that are talking about this stuff, um, especially in those areas. So just stay alert, Virgo, stay alert, okay? Um, I don't mean to bring negative messages, but I do feel the positive message is that anything that may occur in that area, I feel like there's going to be a lot of help. I'm not, listen, I'm not seeing, I mean, yes, I'm seeing destruction of maybe a building or two or something along those lines. Um, but I don't, I, I'm not seeing anything worse than that for you. Okay. Uh, not, not entirely. So you also have the magician. Okay. So what is this? I don't usually need to clarify. Okay. Manifesting some healing. Definitely. Wow, Virgo. I mean, you are, I don't know what you are doing, but you are just amazing <laughs> right now and going into April. Um, some of you are going to... Um, there's there's a level of fame or being in the public eye also that I'm seeing here in April and and the first thing that came to me was comedy um so I don't know if any of you um do stand up comedy or some type of performance stage performance of some sort um but I see that that starts to happen that begins to manifest in April um, or if that's something you've been thinking about, um, whether that's on like a, lo in, if it's like a theater, local theater or in a city or something even grander than that, um, whether there, some type in the arts of some sort or on stage type of stuff. I feel like if that's something that you might want to do, um, definitely open yourself up to that because April looks like a good time for that to get into that. Um, even if it's just some basic, you want to just join a small little theater club or something. And also there are some of you who, um, you are going to meet a celebrity. <laughs> if you don't already know any, um, I, I do feel like you're, you will be meeting a celebrity in April. I don't know who it is, but, um, this person is tremendously famous. They are not, um, low, um, they're they are in superstardom okay so i also feel like there's going to be travel and it could be connected to that but um there's an energy of travel here you're coming out of some kind of comfort zone i do feel like that is happening here somebody's going to also i want to say venice um or is planning or booking a trip to venice italy okay so i uh there's a there's relocation here as well so some of you are either traveling to go look at places to move to or you are actually leaving in april okay and now you've got the ace of cups so sitting on the page of cups so there's definitely going to be new love coming for you in april again with the spring energy and the lilies and you know, this, this is like a blessing of love that's coming in. You have all these, well, you have all these brand new starts and so much healing. And, and, um, I mean, I feel like whenever we have aces, these are gifts that come like, this is grace. These are gifts that come to you that, you know, you haven't asked for. This is, um, 
this is just like someone stopping over to your house and saying, oh, by the way, I got you this gift. And it's like, wow, you know, um, that's what I always feel like the aces are. And that's what I feel like this energy, there's a gift of growth and a gift of love coming here for you okay there's initiation and new beginnings and new starts in that area of your life virgo so um you have all this this page energy coming out here definitely someone is definitely so i was using that as an analogy but i do feel like someone is going to be giving you a gift right now they're looking at what to get you and it's something tangible so it could be um a precious metal or a jewel it could be um something cute for your garden or a tool or something that you um whatever it is that you enjoy someone giving this because they know that it will make you happy so i i do feel there's a message um and some news about some type of like gift coming to you now if that's not coming from a person if you have three children it could be coming from one of them the one that has the dark hair and works out all the time it could also be um um for some of you you see something in the window and you purchase it for yourself and the opportunity presents for you to be able to purchase something that you have been keeping your eye on for a little while, okay? Um, I feel like you're actually going to be able to purchase some, something material as well, okay? Um, and of course, in usual Virgo fashion, you're looking for your coupons, you're looking for your deals and the savings, and <laughs> you, you know, you, you're not... But I, I, I feel like that's your thing uh, for sure. Like you, you know, you don't want to be cheap, but you don't, um, you, you will look for maybe a, a, a less expensive version of it as long as it's quality and it's authentic. Okay. I feel like that's all right. Um, it's, there's something here about that is just takes you a while, taking you a while to purchase something. Okay. Like for example, maybe you want to buy a new car. But you're like, you know, I don't need the full package on that car, you know. Um, I could do without some of the trim and, you know, the little, you know, as long as it looks good and it has at least what I want, if, even if it's just buying a home or moving into a new place, you're taking your time with that. But there's definitely an opportunity for that as well, okay? All right, so uh, I love that if that's what's going on for you as well. Also, somebody, as far as a gift coming to you, um, it's going to, you know, this person's been really focusing on getting the perfect gift for you. I don't know who this is, but really focusing on it or you're doing that for somebody else. But there is delivery for sure. And I feel like there's something that might be delivered through the mail um, or a package of some sort as far as someone giving you a gift could be wrapped in a package or just come through the mail okay what other messages are there here for you virgo okay so we've got the ace of or the eight of swords so there is and and, and this is the only negative card that i feel um i will say somebody is getting out of prison they're being released from prison perhaps in april and i do feel like maybe around the eighth something or there could be news or it could actually be happening um And somebody I feel like um, is healing from some kind of injury and they or maybe surgery could be you or another person. But I feel like there may be someone in your periphery who's milking it a little bit. Look at all the aces. You've got three aces and you have three pages. Um, there is someone in your or will be in your life in April who's milking because this is also could be a surgery card who's milking the recovery process a little bit too much and you with your compassionate healing loving nature might give them a little bit of clarity about that and say you know look I'll explain it to you 
you see this person here they have all these bandages wrapped around them and they kind of play the victim a little bit here like if i were to turn this sideways like damsel in distress but their feet are absolutely free to walk okay so they can walk um i feel like virgo you might just be like handing them the knife and saying cut it out <laughs> and cut all that stuff off oh cut off the blindfold you're fine you can do this so i don't feel like you're being mean i feel like you're being more of a supporter um and giving clarity and truth in regards to someone who might be kind of like you know oh woe is me and they're like way past they like they're eight weeks now and they still haven't got up and tried so and virgo you're good for that right because you like to help but you don't like to do things for people um you have no problem showing someone the way um, but you're not going to pick them up and carry them around on your shoulders right you will help as much as you can but virgo i feel like you like to help people who are willing to help themselves right um unless of course it's innocent children or people who are you know are animals you know or maybe the elderly but people who are well motivated or capable of doing things um i think you kind of are like well you know your feet aren't cut off you can get up and walk so here let me help you and so i do feel like there's going to be an energy like that with someone where you're just going to be like and you might not even cut the the bandages yourself you might just be like here here's the scissors here's the scissors do it yourself you can do it <laughs> right so you got a little tough love going on that you're giving out in april with someone let's see what else is coming up here for you okay all right let's see so we've got some teamwork you're collaborating with someone in april um are working on some crafts of some sort or you're learning you might be going to school or doing some study um and maybe there i do feel like there's mentorship here by one or two people some of you are just learning um carpentry for the first time or you're going back into that um there's an energy of building um and there's also an energy of teaching learning or teaching so you've got something here um showing up here now this could be work you could work in an environment of like a school or a learning environment of some sort where you could be a teacher professor um, you could also be someone who is a student um, so if you were thinking about um, doing that i do see that energy playing out here for you in april although i think school um well, at least where I'm at, um, school's only a few more months left. So for some of you, um, let's see, you could also be picking a child up from school. Um, or like this is maybe not your child. Um, could be friends or you're doing, uh, you could have a, maybe you're starting some kind of job or a business or something where you're taking care of children as well. So I do feel like there's an opportunity for that you know maybe a daycare or doing shuttling kind of thing uh, maybe you're gonna become a bus driver <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna do the whole crossing guard thing at the school um, there's definitely change some of you are going to be teaching um, writing classes or doing something in um, literature type studies or you're going to be learning or taking an extra class with that um so yeah there's definitely a full-on change happening the wheels are moving here um and wow look at that the eight of wands beautiful things are in movement virgo overall like whatever you're setting out to do the opportunities are going to be ripe for you to accomplish or just get going and i feel like a lot of you um are taking care of self here and doing the things you need to do for self um I also feel like there will be um, some really positive news coming towards you. I did say that before, but now I'm really seeing um, like it's going to come fast. Let's see what this news is. And it's going to change a lot of things for you. 
let me see now for some this could be um you know cupid's arrows is showing up here there there, there is definitely a new love start for some of you with someone um let me see okay wow nine of swords all right virgo i, I do have to well there's your sign Wow, I closed all my rings today, and it's early. So I do have to say that um, there's a stress energy behind this Eight of Wands. Uh, someone kind of reaching out to you and trying to connect. Um, there's a lot of anxiety attached to this. Let me see. And you guys, this is going to be a short reading tonight. Um I want to just see how this Wednesday general message is going to be. But yeah, why is this? What is this? Uh, oh, all right. Well, that explains it. Um, um, someone feels that you've walked away and you've closed off or blocked. This person's very stressed about that. Wants reconciliation and is going to be trying to reach out to you. And again, on the 8th, I, I, I do feel like over um, Easter weekend, um, which is April 7th, 8th, and 9th. And, and if you go back to my love readings the past week, I think, or the week before, you'll be able to um, see that or hear that. And so, yeah, um, there's also somebody here that is really stressing because they don't know if you're going to be back. They kind of feel like you will return but for some reason, now they're not so sure that you are, they're doubting. I feel like, I don't know. I, I just feel like they're stressing. Like, are you going to reach out to them? They're not so sure. Maybe before they thought that you would, but now it's like that nine of swords. Like this person is like having hard time sleeping their mental conflict is happening here and they they're obsessing thought wise about um if you guys are gonna like have some kind of like wake up call or things are gonna like open up to each other that kind of energy is definitely playing now it doesn't have to be like i said this could be a friend this could be your employer that you're like i'm out of here <laughs> i'm done and they lost the best employee they ever had, you know, um, and you're, you just are like, I'm going to find another job or I'm doing something else or you've left a family situation or whatever it is. There, and it, there's just an energy of stress behind this because I feel like somebody wants to hear from you. And, um, and, the, and if, if they don't hear from you, they're going to be triggered to reach out to you um, because they kind of feel like, all right, well, Virgo should have been back by now. What the heck's going? What is Virgo doing right now? Virgo should have been back by now. Virgo's usually back at least by now. Um, or I at least hear something. Uh, yeah, so maybe you told somebody that you were going on vacation or you were just, you needed a break and there was the lovers I just saw. And of course, I'm only going to show you the tippy top of that because YouTube doesn't like nudies. And no, I'm not going to draw maybe I should maybe I should put little bikini stickers on my cards but yeah this is someone stressing about like they want to be with you they they want to um like they're they've decided they want you both to decide to love each other um and come together and um and they might I do feel like there might be a question of whether or not you um have made a decision not to love them anymore I, I don't see that here I don't see that you um I, I feel like you have feelings for someone but I, I I feel like you 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 might have kind of temporarily separated yourself and decided not to I keep getting all this notifications invest in the relationship um somebody here really 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 does like you are there you are their partner for life um and they're hoping that you choose them but you know as you know virgo i don't know you've got something going on here like you're you're chasing goals of some sort you're doing something um okay let me see i want to see what your moon pie tarot messages are oh okay ghosted or blocked in the reverse committed re um, love relationship in the reverse all right, Virgo, so um, 
You're no longer blocking or ghosting someone and you're also not committing to something, okay? Virgo, it just kind of feels like you're, you're just doing whatever you're doing for yourself. You haven't decided really on anything. You're just, it feels like you're just kind of taking this temporary separation in some way to just go find yourself or take some kind of journey to figure out what it is that you want or um, out of your life. Um, and so you're kind of like, you know, I'm not pushing. I feel like you're with the ghost and blocked in reverse. It's like, well, I'm not pushing this person away entirely, but I'm not committing to anything either. And that's kind of what I feel like the energy is. Um, like I said, it could be romantic and it also could just be a family member, a friend or something along those lines. Like you're, you're kind of like, you know, I'm more focused on yourself and if you're female, you're being very direct and honest with yourself, for sure. Um, you're, you're giving yourself clarity. And uh, for others, there may be, a, um, could be an air sign that shows up. Um, why? Oh, okay. Who's pretty pissed off at you. <laughs> Feels like they can't win with you. And they can't because you're not, you're being very, um, not you're, you're like right in the center you're not saying yes and you're not saying no and it's pissing somebody off um because he can't get a straight answer out of you and and the reason why is because you don't even know yourself because right now you're on some kind of journey and you're trying to figure out what your own personal answers are for self right so uh, somebody's definitely not happy it could be a gemini we do have the lovers here with, with gemini as well but you know it doesn't have to be i just feel like virgo um Everything's up in the air, uh, you know, like, you're like, you know what, universe, you just, you take the wheel of this stuff, because I am like, uh, just show me what I need to do. That I kind of feel like that's your energy, like, you're just doing your every day, and finding your joy and your happiness, and, and, or creating that for yourself in your life. And all these opportunities are coming in for you during this time period, which I think is really awesome. And if you keep doing what you're doing, I do feel like Spirit's going to reveal to you the path that you need to be on. You're definitely on a path, but you may not be sure that you're waiting for confirmation or you're waiting for some kind of signs that the path you're on is the right path. And um, I do feel like you are on it, but I will give you, actually, I want to give you a couple of charms to tell you what your signs might be if you see these. To let you know that you are on the right path. Okay. So here are some signs. You got a shoe. <laughs> You've got a shoe, Virgo. You've got a shoe. So let me try and show you the shoe. High heels. I don't know. Something to do with high heels. That's one of your signs. I don't know how that's a sign. But there you go. That's one of your signs. Some type of high heel. All right. So they're just saying... Um, you can't find your other shoe. If you have lost your shoe, or you just see a sing that this is the message. If you've lost a shoe, can't find it for the life of you, that's your sign. Or if you just see a single shoe somewhere, just one shoe, that's one of your signs that you are on the right path. Okay. Or you go to the shoe store and you pick out a pair of shoes you want to buy, and you know how they always come with like the shoe off the rack and then they have to go and get the box and it's got the other shoe and they come back and they're like well can't sell these to you because the other shoe is not in the box like it's some kind of en energy like that if you see that that's a message that you're on the right path okay all right this is interesting you also have a like a salmon colored orange pinkish salmon colored star all right, so for some of you, that there's a salmon sushi, star-shaped. That's one of your signs. Also, um, a starfish. If you see a starfish somewhere on the beach, um, you're f the first one you see for the year, that's one of your signs that you're on the right path, okay? That you're doing what you need to do. And let me see if there's any other messages with that. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, well, you know, it's for somebody. <laughs> I, they just gave me an image of Patrick Starr from SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, there's a sign as well. Okay, let's give it a break. Um, 
and here you go. You also have this beautiful Enter the Dragonfly. Okay, so you've got a dragonfly here. There's another sign, right? So you've got these three signs. And I know the shoe thing is tremendously specific, but it is what it is. Or if you see a shoe with like a rose flower on it, but yeah, the dragonfly is definitely another sign. Your first dragonfly you see, or the last one you see, that's a sign that you're on the right path. And yeah, I'm gonna leave the reading there. Actually, I just wanted to pull a couple, uh, sorry, I meant to do this. A um, couple extra. And don't forget, if you guys wanna book a personal reading, if you booked with me before, you may continue to do so. But if you're new, please do book with Casey. He has lots of hours open. So if you are in another country, he can, uh, he, he can accommodate and um, he has lots of hours and lots of days. So do consider booking with him and he's half the price that I generally charge. So save yourself a little money. Okay, you've got a young male who's showing up here for you. Sporty, into cars, youthful, will be significant in your life in April. Okay, what else? Oh, we have. Okay, some of you are traveling by plane somewhere. Going on a vacation, traveling somewhere, or there's a plane involved in somebody's travel and trip. This is not on a train. This is not in a car. This is not on a boat. This is on a plane. And it may be somewhere warm or wherever there's palm trees or vice versa. Could be a young male coming to visit you or vice versa, coming home from college or... Okay, you've also got friendship. Amazing. Networking, friends, and acquaintances. They will be very significant to you also in April. Pay attention to your friends. Um, friends want to get together, connect with them. Even if you can only do it once a month. Or if you're that person that wants to see them all the time, keep doing it. Yes, keep doing it. Acquaintances, friendship. Very important during April. And networking as well. Let me see what else is coming for you here. Networking, um, very important for your career, especially if you are getting into self-employment. I said it was going to be short, and it's 45 minutes-ish. Um, if you're doing, self, you know, becoming self-employed, starting a business, networking is very, very important, as well as marketing. And you've got true gem, valuable, valuable quality jewelry. See, I said like a precious metal or a jewel or a gem. Expect that to come in. As well but true gem is also about yourself true gem not a knockoff gem okay maybe somebody's name is gem or has Gemini somewhere in their chart or um, there's a Gemini coming in who's being truthful with you as well or is very honest with you and is a is a true gem <laughs> which is which is the definition of a Gemini very very honest and sometimes a bit too candid but can be very truthful when they're in the upright of course not when they're in the reverse not all Gemini's are bad sometimes we operate out of our strengths and sometimes we operate out of our weaknesses so it really just depends and yes you've got real estate residence home property opportunity to buy a new home purchase or rent a place okay and or sell some of you might also be getting into real estate as well or becoming a broker um, or working on the side of the financial aspect of real estate where you're in the office as an administrator um, or you're working with loans or you know increasing your employment some of you starting your own businesses or doing stuff on the side opening your own loan company or, or mortgage company as well let me just do one more and then I'm gonna be done okay you also have brunette female some of you are dyeing your hair or you're going back to brown okay um, Or you could be connecting with someone who is a brunette female. They could have been blonde before or red and now they're brunette or they just never changed. They've always been brunette. But this person will be very significant in your life as well in April. Okay. And it almost looks like this person has brown hair and blue or green eyes. So that could be you 
also, or a, another person that you're that kind of looks like um, what's that politician's name? That governor out in the Dakota area. I can't remember her name, and I don't want to say it here. I don't know. For a quick second, I just saw that, and I was like, oh, you know, she has all that. Um, I I don't know. Uh, she just reminded me of her real quick. So I don't know, maybe you live in the Dakota area or some of you are going to be getting yourselves involved in politics or something. Um, yeah, so interesting reading. That was a lot of fun. Tomorrow I will be back with your weekend outlook um, and we will take a look at romance and some tarot as well. So again, don't forget, if you want to join my channel so you can get free readings with me, go ahead and become a member. And then on Sunday, show up for the live stream 1 p.m eastern standard once you're a member you can pop in and ask as many questions as you like you don't have to pay of course tips are always welcome but you don't have to because you've already signed up and you're paying monthly so all right you guys i hope you enjoyed that i will see you all back here tomorrow okay love you bye